We're just gonna be vibing today, guys. I need to get some uh, practice in for the upcoming regionals. So I figured, why not hop on here? Let you guys chill. Oh, looks like we got our first matchup. Let you guys chill. We'll chat, catch up. And I'll get some practice in for these matchups. Let's see. Let's start off with... Let's go Moe here. And we'll reveal the Ashuna. Don't let him know we have the long one. All right, and let's play around the nib. Let's go ahead and sink into Baron. Definitely want to play around Nib. We don't want to get screwed by that. And we'll go Chi Shao. And one and two. Let's hope we get into a hand trap here. Probably Droll would be ideal. Cross, cross out Desi. Ooh. Let's dump Taya here. No, that's a banish. So let's just add it to hand for follow-up. And then I think we just set Crossy Road here. And let's pass. We probably should have just grabbed Blackout. Alright. What's our man got? This is definitely a weaker board. We could have put Drag Out on the board if we hadn't been playing around Nib there. Dinos! Yo. Oh, it's Scrap Dinos. And that is definitely not what we meant to click on. That is an oopsie doopsie on our part. That is a big oopsie. Well, there's the first oopsie of the night, boys. Well, how do we recover from this oopsie? It's about to move to the next phase. That is fine. All right, we're going to Chi Shao. We're going to get rid of Long John Silver. We're going to imperm this. So now he has to pick to clear the Chi Shao or the Baron. Oh, dear God. So now he gets a double rip from our extra deck. This one oopsie has been disastrous. Uh, gentlemen, can I get Fs in the chat for that one little oopsie? All right, what did he dump? Two babies. Fuck. All right. Yeah, we, we finally have to ash here. What are we doing? Holding it for next game? This has been a major oopsie on our part. Fuck.
Keeps him off the misc. Oopsie boopsie. Yeah, we really fucked that one up, dog. That really sucked. Imagine, like, a misclick just spiraling into, like, a double or triple rip from your extra deck and all this bullshit that's happened so far. <laughs> oh, dude, it was fucking catastrophic. Oh, my God. I don't think we're going to be able to recover from this one. I think this game right now is pretty fucked. But uh, let's see what Tyler over here wants to do. I think his turn's pretty much over. He can OV pop the petite, but then he loses on the... Whoa, white woman jump scare. Oh my god, white woman jump scare. Holy shit, was not expecting the white woman. Okay. So we can force out the white woman's negate pretty early. Okay, let's force out the negate of the white woman. So that'll force her to negate. Excellent. And let's go... Shit, what do we do here? Moe grab... That, and then we lose to UCT popping itself. Would he really UCT pop itself, though, here? Because then what's his follow-up play? What would be his follow-up play? He's left us with a bunch of 10s. Let's go Moe here. We definitely don't want to shoot our Taya. Because that's our big power play. He will UCT pop itself. Okie dokie. We're locked into synchros because we're stuck here. All right. Go right ahead, brother. You can clear the board with that UCT. But you have zero follow-up for the Taya. Maybe he'll also misclick? <laughs> That's the win con, him screwing up as well. That is literally the win condition right now. Okie dokie. So we can Vashuda away the UCT. But then he can just summon it back. We go Vashuda bounce. I don't see how we can recover here. Our board's pretty broken. We go Taya, banish this. That can drop the level of the token. Which gets us nowhere because we don't have a way to special out. Yeah, I think we're done. Alright. Next game. So, Dinos. Let's take out our Veilers for Lancias. This way he can't use Evo Pill. Nibiru's pretty donezo. Because he can just get misc early. Oh, wait, we're going first. We're going first. What am I doing? Yo, what's up, man? How's it going? What else do we want in here? Let's get a D barrier in here. Because he might place D barrier in as well. So worst comes to worst, we could cross out the D-Barrier. Let's go...
One Imper mount for D barrier. Let's go Sacred Summit out for a D barrier. It's two Imperms, a D barrier. And I'd like one more D barrier in. Uh, let's go one triple tech out for a D barrier. My siding ratios are a little weird for this matchup. I don't have shit for dinos. Dinos are such a weird matchup for this deck. We did get the D barrier here. Alright, let's go. Let's open up with a Shuna. Let's go Link and a Monk here. Then we can go Vashuda. Inu at Hara. This kind of plays super hard in a nib, though. But I don't think we really had a great way to play around it. I think we grab this here. We make the Grandmaster. And then... I don't really... I'm not crazy about that one either. Let's grab Blackout. Set D-Barrier Imperm Blackout. D-Barrier Imperm Blackout could be a good way. We have two negates. We still have our normal as well. Also, cash to your cards went down another few bucks. Rise Heart now went from like 37 to $4. So the tech cost seven to 800 instead of being 1k. Hell yeah, that's a great value. We're locked into worms right now. So the only other thing we could make right now is Yazi, which isn't great. You can go for Floor to negate. Yeah, we're locked into Worms because of uh, Adhar or Ashuna. So the only 10 we could make right now is like Evil Long One and Grandmaster or Grandmaster and Sovereign. So those are the only 10s we're locked to. So if we get nibbed here, we're kind of screwed. That's why I'm thinking of just grabbing Blackout sitting on these two. Yeah, we'll go for that. Because we don't have any eight worms to make because I'm not playing Draco Berserker. And I think we'll go this. We'll grab back the Ashuna. Then we'll just set these three. All right, my friend. You are up. I probably played this hand all fucky, but I really don't have any great cards aside from Lancia for this matchup. Nib, we did play into it. So he did it at end of main here. Uh. Okay. So anyway, normal summon Moe, Moe effect. <laughs> How's it going, friend? So, uh, we never used our normal summon. So, we're just going to do that now. Okay, he's going to the next game. <laughs> All right. We take those. Ah, oh, we're doing good, man. All right, what do we do here? We have to assume he draws the misc and that our matchups will just be ass against that. So D barrier is going to come out. Let's go lava golem in. Lancia needs to stay in. Droll needs to stay in. We'll keep Ash in. And I think the imperm needs to stay in at one. Lunar could be good to flip down the UCT. Crossy Road, since we're taking everything out, it's pretty poopy here. And since we're playing into a board, let's go evenly. Man, this is sided so fucking weird.
I suppose, like this. All right. And we got all engine, baby. Let's go. That's that's not what I want to see going second. <laughs> all right. So he's going to go Lost World. Dragonic Diagram. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not, not Diagram. Oh. All right. So we're going to lose two or three out of the extra deck. Pass. Hard pass. Yo, let's fucking go. We have literally everything. All right, Moe time. Let's show him Taya. He's bricking on something. It's got to be interaction. Gamma. There we go. It's interaction he's bricking on. All right, Baron. We can push through this board. We can get every name rotated around this turn. So let's go. We discarded Ataya. Let's go ahead and grab the last one out of the deck. And even if he tries to nib us, we have the Baron set up. Come on, bud. I know you got that nib in hand. I see it. Pause and ask you about it. Oh man, he's super unsure there. He's thinking about nibbing the whole board now. He's at least going to try and bait the Baron. He quit. He dipped. All right. <laughs> so how's everyone doing today? <laughs> everyone doing all Gucci? By the way, if you guys are new here, do be sure to like and subscribe. It helps out. Especially the likes. It pushes the stream out to more folks. But we do fucking take those, don't we, dog? Yo, scissors. Shit. All right, this Ash has got to do a lot of heavy lifting here. Runic tip. Go for it, homie. Yo, he banished the nib off the top of my deck. What a homie. What a homie banishing that nib. Because it's completely useless in this matchup. Are you going to try and shuffle those two back? And he chain blocked it. Uh, one runic continuous spell. Go for it, dog. Runic allure. When they're going to remove runic. Honestly, the TCG doesn't, like, fuck around with Runic too much. It's not even, like, hit at all. Sprite Starter, that's what we're going to hit. Right there. We're going to Ash that. Passes.
All right. Let's normal mow ye. And let's pray this resolves. This will resolve copium. All right, so he negates its effects. Ah, thanks. Banish my blackout. What a homie. What a homie. Banished my blackout like that. I really appreciate that, dog. Thanks for the token. My guy went through all that trouble to stop my Moe and then banish the blackout right off my deck. Boop. We'll add this. <laughs> Let's see. Do we have any Taya's? No. Let's see. A lot of our... A lot of these are banished already. All right, let's go. None of our ties are banished. Let's go Taya. Let's go Taya effect. We'll banish the Chisha. And he scoops it up! That would have given us Dragite and a Spell Negate. Okie dokie. So he wants to go first here. Droll and Ash are really good in this matchup. Nib is virtually worthless. So Lancey is going to come in here. Effect Veiler is okay. Triple Tack is also worthless here. D Barrier is really good, but it's only good if I'm going first. Lava Golem? Uh, they're pretty... Uh, yeah, Lava Golem because of the sprites. Or are you asking why I'm playing Lava Golem? Lava Golem is really good when you're hitting on, um, when you're getting, what's your name, Ecclesia to hand. What Yu-Gi-Oh game is this one? This is YGO Omega. What are they playing? Runic Sprite. Let's take out the cross outs. Let's see. We have the Book of Eclipses in the side still. The triple tax are out. The crossy roads are out. Bald by maybe should come out. But what do we put in in its place? I don't think there's anything worthwhile putting in there. Yeah, I think we keep it as here as it is right now. Now we just gotta wait. There it is. No, I was saying Lava Golem is good here. I personally play Spear, but Lava Golem is also really good. Yeah. That's what I kind of figured you were maybe saying, but I wasn't quite sure. You know, Desires was probably not the best thing to keep in here either, to be honest. Like, if we just stop and think about it, Banishing 10 against the deck that wants to mill us out. Hey, what's up, man? It was probably not smart to keep Desires in. No Cosmics in the side? No. Cosmics pretty bad right now. Cosmics just not that great. Because you have like, it's essentially like a one for one trade and the only thing playing back row is um Labyrinth right now. So you want as many outs to, what do you call it? Cash as, as many as possible. So that's why I'm playing like three Lava Golem, three evenly matched. Wait, shit, did I even put the evenly matched in? Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm an idiot. But I don't think the evenly would have resolved anyway. This is red, isn't it? There's a monster effect, okay. Could use Pot of Desire as a spotter for Baxia Reborn? True! Lava Golem off the top would be fantastic here, though. Just lava golem this man for his whole life savings. Oh. 
Yo, it's Sprite Elf at home. In case you guys didn't know why this card like spiked up in value, it did after the ban of Sprite Elf. This is what they're playing instead of that. They're playing the, the Bujin Link. The Toad! Alright. Sprite Elf on Wish. <laughs> Lava Golem off the top. We got it. Alright, what do we need to get rid of here? Alright, so a Monster Effect Negate. That might be what we need to get rid of. Spell Trap Negate and an Omni Negate. Cannot be used as link material. Card is link summon, special summon two monsters. Yada yada yada. If an exceeds monster, this card points to. Yeah, we need to get rid of this. Toad and red. Yeah, toad and red are definitely the options here. Goodbye. Now, I'm thinking we go Vashuda for Monk from the top rope Lava Golem. <laughs> I'm thinking we go Vashuda for Monk, Vashuda away the carrot, then we can Desires. Because if he has anything in hand, it'll, it'll force it out on the Monk. So let's go Vashuda. You could Vashuda and then Lava Golem again? You know what? True. And you know what? I think he thought that's what I was doing. That's what a competent player would have thought. And that's totally what I was doing, guys. I'm glad you suggested that. <laughs> that was a, a brilliant play that I knew of. I was testing you, chat. You guys did a great job suggesting that. All right, it's on to the next one, boys. <laughs> that was a, a hand of all time. Oh, Jesus. I feel like this is definitely like a... Oh, by the way, what do you guys think of the new thumbnail for uh, for the stream? I don't know if you guys noticed I did change it up a little bit. Not a super duper lot. I wish they printed a worm kaiju. That would be super helpful. All right. We have to use Ecclesia as our play starter here. Okay, we don't get ashed. Let's go Moe. And hey, an Imperm doesn't stop our whole turn. Let's go. All right, into Chi Shao. And Chi Shao one, Moe two. Nib off the top. And whatever we get here, we're gonna pitch for Long John Silver. So let's get a Taya. I just love Sword Soul. Same. It's like Synchro Salomon Great. It's such a great deck that just has a play it can do every single turn. All right. No nib. No nib. Exactly, Synchro Summit. Yeah, I do play Summit. Summit's really good. I play that so I can end on Dragite as well in, uh, in really good hands. That way they can't just Imperm the Barret and force it out. So we've got three Infinite Impermanences and one Omni Negate. So uh, hopefully that's enough. Hopefully that's enough to get us through this game. I play Omega and place a Dragite. I think I mentioned it in that deck profile I uploaded a couple days ago. I don't think anybody who plays Omega in that place or Draco Berserker is necessarily wrong. Oh, fuck. It's cash. Is necessarily wrong. I don't think they are. I just get more utility out of Dragite. 
being able to end on Chi Shao Dragite Baron, I think is a little bit better than say like Chi Shao Omega Baron because the hand rip you're getting off of Omega, I think isn't necessarily as good as say like game two going into post siding where you have like more Nibiru's in your deck, you're able to resolve Dragite. All right, there's Unicorn. All right, we are gonna imperm the Unicorn. Yeah, I think we might have this one. Depends on what he has in hand, honestly. Is this the one that lets him normal? Another seven? Special summon one cash tier monster with a diff different attribute from your deck in defense. Special summon monsters from the extra deck except exceeds. So he just gets the special one from the deck. Do I care? I think I care. Pretty sure I care about this. Triple attack is the punish here. Oh, dear lord. Into the Imperm column! <laughs> Into the Imperm column! Let's go, that was actually scary. Oh, hey buddies. Hey guys, how's it going? How's it going, guys? Oh, he's gonna try and Ibly lock us. That's messed up, dog. Woo. Do you play the level 10 Ice Jade? Yes, I do. All right, bud. That was a that was a nice Ibly. That was a very nice Ibly. All right, he surrenders. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. All right, in come the Lava Golems and the Nibiru. I know that one for sure. So, Valor's coming out. Let's take out Triple Tack. Uh, we're going we're gonna to take out a lot of our hand traps here. So, Nib's coming in. I honestly expected more from a $1k dollar deck. I know, right? He got his ass kicked by a $100 deck. <laughs> All right, called by and cross out are coming in because we got to break this board. Uh, the second triple tack. What's coming out for it? Lancia. And then, you know, I think the desires need to come out. So desires. And then I think we'll just throw a called by back in. I think this looks good. This looks good, right? To be fair, cash pricing is constantly dropping. Still, it seems true. I think this looks good. This seems legitimate. Still over. Well, this is the hand of all time. You know what? It's just, this is like I said in that short the other day. Cash plays a lot of cards that search, so everybody should be playing Droll. Droll's about to do a lot of heavy lifting here. And so are these lava golems. All right, bud. Hope you got everything you need in hand. Triple Tactics Thrust. What is this? Just how did you get this in your hand? I don't know, man. I got three Lava Golem. What did he set? D-Barrier? Oh, no. Not the Ibly Lock. Oh, God, no, please. Please, not the Ibly that you know I have the outs to. Call Synchro.
Yeah, nice Ibli, idiot. <laughs> I get this hand all the time in Master Duel. <laughs> that sucks, bro. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest with you, that sucks. And, uh, he wasted that dimensional barrier. Joke's on him, I wasn't playing either way. Okie dokie. Has he got a second dimensional barrier back there? I'm going to be very upset if he does. Yeah, I'm going to be very, very upset he spaghetti if he has a second dimensional barrier back there. And probably. <laughs> I'm going to be very upset if he does, man. Alright, so he's going to summon Macrocosmos and we're trying to lock a bunch of my zones now. So he's finally about to get off to the races here. Little does he know I have triple fucking Lava Golem in my hand, but hey! How could he? He's going to be super upset. Dimensional Barrier again. He's doing it until he gets golems. It's true. I like the utility Omega has since it can put face down, since it can put back face down banish cards. Yeah, that was why I thought about playing Omega, to be honest. Anyway. Nice board. Do we lethal this turn? No, we're under dimensional barrier again. We do do a heck of a lot of damage here, though. The Tenyes did a lot of lifting here. And if he manages to, like, clear this and put something on the board, we just Lava Golem him again. And he knows that. Is he gonna Lava Golem us? <laughs> K 
Cash money, baby. Honestly, the only thing that was screwing us up was like the D barriers. And those are gone now. Like, this whole time I've been... Oh! We're going battle phase. Are we going to clear the monk? Interesting decision. Then he's going to banish the lava golem. And then attack direct for 24. Interesting decisions. He has to make a rank 7 here or he knows he's going to get lava golemed. Diabolus. By the way, if you guys are new here, do be sure to like and subscribe. It helps out. So what are you banishing from my extra deck, my guy? He banished the Ice Jade. Alright. We pitch. Goodbye. Got him. <laughs> we got cash money, baby. All right, that's another dub for us, guys. I think we're, what, three and one at this point? Something like that, two and one, three and one? We're going pretty well tonight. Cashier got spanked. Yeah, they got spanked by the mid-range Sword Soul. If you guys haven't seen that deck profile I put up, that's that's the exact list I'm running here. <laughs> he had two deep barriers and full combo and lost a double Lava Golem. <laughs> he lost a three Lava Golem, technically. But I had to pitch the third one. Imagine opening three Lava Golems and still winning against the best deck in the format. <laughs> Lava Golem hard carrying. <laughs> Man, it's been a long time since I've seen one of the, since I've been on one of these streams. True! I haven't been streaming as much lately. I just been vibing making shorts and videos and stuff. Hey, there we go. We going first. Uh-oh. I don't know what the hell we do with this hand. Uh. What the hell do we do with this hand? Is our normal summon unironically at Hara here? I think we unironically have to normal summon at Hara here. That gets us to Chi Shao. Yeah, that's just unironically what we have to do. Please ash the Chi Shao. I beg you. I beg you, please do it. Please? Will you do it? Be a friend. Come on. Come on, you get a bit of pal and done that for me. Fucked up dog. Uh, we can't even add the Long John Silver here, man. I guess I guess we're going for follow up here. We've got Droll, Valor, Peak Sword Soul Board. True. <laughs> this is Sword Soul Gaming, baby. Let's get follow up here. And uh Wait, wait, do you have a droll? Please droll me. Damn it. Come on, man. That would have been great. Well, gentlemen, it's Chi Shao Pass. 
This will definitely not be, or this will definitely be enough to win the game, right? Uh oh, we're in danger. <laughs> we're in danger again. <laughs> oh no. Wouldn't Emergence be the better card since it's more flexible? True. I thought about that, but I did not do it. Okay. We'll let him add and then droll it, but then we lose Chi Shao. Yeah, we'll let him add, then we'll droll, and then we lose the Chi Shao. Here we droll. Then on res, that'll banish the Chi Shao. Gizmek Orochi. Yo, what? I'm sorry, you what, mate? You what, mate? Punk Jam Extreme Session. Boys, we're in for a ride. I be I might be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure this is not Cash Tira. Gentlemen, we're in danger. Alright. Alright, he's going to battle. Punk featuring Fenrir. Punk tier gaming. <laughs> All right, we're not dead. What is about to happen? We barely survive. That's what's about to happen. And maybe he goes Baron Pass, special another Fenrir. Maybe? Hey, let's go. We called it. Ooh, except for the Fenrir part. Okay. We gotta go this, hope he negates it with Baron. Then what do we do? A little bit of danger. Yeah, we're in a little bit of danger here. Alright, special this. Let's go Ecclesia. Come on, Baron this. You know you want to. Come on, I have the follow-up. You kind of have to negate here. Come on, bud. You're kind of forced to negate this. There it is. That's what we like to see. Alright. Bounce back with Yang? Yeah, we're about to. Let's... Let's look at his hand. Oh, dude. He had nothing but Fenrir's. Oh my god. That was the worst, worst triple tack ever. All right. All right, he's got nothing here. Let's go Mo Yi. Banish. Now Vashuda will bounce the Baron. And Adhara will add back the Mo Yi.
Go Chi Shao. We've already used Mo Yi this turn. Go for a second Dra or you can go for a Drago as well. Well, we've already used Moe. Moe's activation got negated. We can only use it once per turn, correct? You can only use each effect once per turn. So we can't just say ditch the Moe in hand. What do we want to send to Grave? Let's go... I suppose it doesn't super matter here. Let's go Ashuna to Grave. And then... Long John Silver to Hand. The only thing we're going to have to deal with next turn is the Fenrir. Ice Jade time? It might be. That name is on the field or in the graveyard. Yeah, because that'll clear Gizmek Orochi. Because when he tries to bring back Gizmek, this will get rid of it out of the graveyard. Let's go battle. This into Gizmek. Alright, Chi Shao direct. He'll activate the Gizmek. Oh, no activating Gizmek. fine. Alright. Get that out of here. Ain't no way to get through two negates? No, I don't think there is. So anyways, I started negating. <laughs> he gets to draw here, though. So he could draw something worthwhile. Depends on when he draws. That field spell is really crazy. But 28.50 left. I don't think he's going to have any much gas left. Could be in Punisher. That would be catastrophic. Oh god, that is catastrophic. Oh fuck, that's, that's honestly catastrophic. Alright, we're going to have to cheesh out here. Let's get this out of here. Oh, yo, wait, it negated it. 
Or no, wait, it's unaffected, so it, it's not going to work. Fucking graphics fucking with me. I guess they're fucking with him, too, because he didn't activate it. Oh, you were lower than him? Yo, let's go. Yes. I ain't playing around with that psychic and punisher, dude. Yeah, it was negated until the end of the turn. So let's go long one. We can Vashuda. Or we can Edhara out of a Shuda, bounce it. Yeah, let's get a Taya instead. Alright. Then we go Wham. Bam. This plays into Nib, but we know he doesn't have that. And we'll dump this. And battle phase. Surrendered. All right. Next game. Do you play the blue tenny? No, I do not. I don't have the blue tenny, like physically. All right, Lava Golem's definitely coming in. Right? Lava Golem's got to come in. I think Nibiru comes in here. I think Ash is terrible here. I think that's kind of my... Ash isn't terrible. It's just not as high impact as I would like. I thought I was removing Pot of Desires. You know what? Let's remove the Desires here. What is it going to do post-side anyway? Makes Long One plus Ashuna a two-card combo. I like it as a one of. Yeah. I mean, I know it's not bad. It's just I physically don't have it. Plus, like, there are instances where it comes up. So. All right, we got a Valor in a dream, guys. A Valor in a dream. Yo. Imperm? Imperm, yes. Actually, I don't even know why you... Why would you even set Imperm there, my brother? Respect the nib? Yeah, I, I kind of got to respect nib here.
But I don't even know why he would set that imperm there. Honestly, that's just a weird decision. It would have been activatable from the hand. That's fine. A 600 fusion summon. Sync or summon immediately. So it's a quick sync or a fusion. That's his normal. You know what? I feel like they only use this as a plan B. So let's uh let's see if you got a let's see if you got another plan, my dude. Gold Pride. I'm sorry, what now? There's there's gold pride, guys. We got freaking gold pride out here. I just honestly didn't see that coming. I'm a, I'm gonna be real with you. Oh boy. All right, so we're going to lose the baron here. You know what? Sure. Can you put another body on board for me to lava golem you? You can. Yeah. Gold Pride works pretty well with punks. And now he kaijus me? No, he does not. Guys, we might be dead. Like, just straight dead. The Copium Kaiju made its appearance. Yeah, we're dead. Like, we're just dead dead. Okie dokie. <laughs> like, okay. Let's go next. <laughs> uh Yeah, we got fucking rolled. All right, in comes D barrier. <laughs> we got fucking rolled, guys. <laughs> All right, what do we what do we want out? So D barrier coming in, Lancey going out. Our lava golems going out. Lancey's are already out. Let's go Valers out because we know he's on imperm. Let's go one Imperm out, and let's go one Ash Blossom out. Let's be a little weird with this one since we are going first. Okie dokie, that's a hand of all time. That's a hand that exists. All right, let's pitch this. Let's, uh, let's set up the Baron before we do anything. Okie dokie, he's on B-Seals. Or Bi-Seals, or whatever you want to call him. Let's go Baron. In for 12. Is this man on Valor too? 
Ghost Ogre. My dude is on Ghost Ogre. Yo, what? Okay, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna believe he doesn't have Nib here. Nib d Nib isn't real. Nib isn't real. Doesn't exist. Fake card. <laughs> Giga Chad Ogre, true. I did not see that coming for a mile. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys. <laughs> All right, let's grab the blackout. Oh, my man does have the Nibiru, doesn't he? Is he going to nib the whole field? No, he's not. Nib is a custom card. True. Nib's fake. Fake news. All right, this is the one that sins to grave, right? Target one special summon monster your opponent controls and send it to grave. So we're not going to pop that with Baron. Pretty nice board. Yeah. It could be a little nicer, but it's, it's not much, but it's honest work. It's all in a day's work. All right, E-Telly. Lava Golub is a custom card as well. That came out in like, wasn't it Labyrinth of Nightmare? I think it was Labyrinth and Nightmare, wasn't it? Dear Note. That's fine. Can make an eight here. What kind of eight are you making, my brother? Oh. Are we going to get White Woman Jump Scared again? You know what? Let's just avoid getting White Woman Jump Scared. Let's take out... Does Deer Note do anything if it's sent to Grave? Target one punk. Can only use each effect once per turn. All right. Let's get rid of the tuna and this one. You're left on a five and a six. That should leave him a kind of awkward board. Then we can tag out Baron during the standby phase. The built-in flaw of Xyz. True. But Xyz are so cool. I love the design of Xyz monsters. I still think to this day my favorite Xyz monster is Dark Rebellion. Dark Rebellion, Dark Requiem. Which, by the way, did you guys know they added Dark Requiem to Duel Links? <laughs> Fun fact for you. Oh no, honey, I'm so sorry. Oh, he's going to get rid of my Baron this way. Homie, are you going to try and Zeom in again? Or are you going to try and climb up an access code? Okay. Uh. F 
So he gets another bestial. Alright, desires time, baby. There's Ecclesia. And we didn't banish our Taya. Let's go. Legal pot agreed. Yeah, that just reads draw two cards. I see no downsides here. No, we don't want to activate Blackout. He doesn't really have a good spot to bestial us. We could Yazi here, spin these two back. But then the bestial is too big for us to get over. Wait, this isn't Master Duel? <laughs> yeah, that's why we ain't seen Max C. I think Castell is my favorite exceed. Yeah, Castell's pretty fire. Then we can pop that, bring back Mo Yi. Right? Yeah. Let's go back to you. Goodbye. If you wanted Moe, you should have spawned the token with the trap. Uh, probably. But we have a worm in hand, so we don't have to worry about that too much. I kind of look at these lines as I go. Which probably isn't the best way to play the game. Alright, now he's going to shoot that away. Like, there are certainly much better Sword Soul players than I. Let's go Chi Shao. I think we can game him here. Yeah, I think we got this one in the bag. We just pitch, burn him for 12 here, and then we just make a massive level 10 synchro. That should be enough to kill. Alright, brother, even if you send this to Grave, this should still be enough on board. Is that the Droll and Lockbird? Yes, it is! Alright. Surrender? <laughs> we make big monster for game. <laughs> Chungus. Chungus is a coming. Ladies and gentlemen, we got another one. All right, let's go scissors. Yes. Uh, what's the safer out here? Vashuda, Monk, Taya, Chishao. 
He's my out to ultimate falcon. <laughs> yes. Because he's just huge. There's no way to play around Nib this time. We can end on Baron and a Nib token at worst. Yeah, I think this is our way to do it. Alright, let's go Monk here. We get Beastial, though. We're kind of screwed. Beastial! Alright, so that's, uh, that was way worse than expected. Alright. So now, no Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom doesn't exist. Well, son of a bitch. <laughs> this man just had everything. <laughs> this man had everything. Well, gentlemen. Well, if we get Beastealed, we're screwed. He has a Beastealed. If we get Ash, we're fucked. And he had the Nash. People still main decking Beastials post tier nuke? What world is this? I don't know. This man just dragged out. Like, it's not, I can't even say it's a last format deck because nobody was playing Ash last format. Feels good with no Maxi. It's true. I do like not seeing Maxi. But uh, I do feel like we're kind of fucked here already. Might be branded Beastial. Honestly, with as large of a branded package as he's on, or not branded, as, long as, as large of a um, Beastial package as he's on, because we've already seen Pizza Hut, we've already seen their Serenir. It's it's got to be branded Beastial. Nobody aside from branded Beastial is playing Serenir. Serenir is garbage in anything aside from branded. Yep, branded lost. There it is. Alright, boys, we got a Droll and Lockbird in a dream. Fusion deployment. Let's see, add Albaz here to try and fuse off the monk. Yep, there's the Albaz. Pitch a card. Alright, we live in. We live in, boys. All right. We're not dead. <laughs> Neg one on Albaz. <laughs> All right, last card's dead. Don't set it. Yo, let's go. The impermanent dream worked. It's true. Sometimes that's all you need. Is an impermanent dream. Do we know his last card? Is the last card a bestial? Is the last card a bestial? I don't remember. We could backseal away two cards, run over the Albaz. I feel like Baxia isn't that great here. Actually, Baxia might be pretty decent here. Spin these two. Baxia to pop itself and the Albaz, because we can dump a Taya with the with the Synchro Summon here. Or not a Taya, a Moe. Moe, reveal a Shuna, go off on the normal combo. I think that's the route. I think that's the play here. All right. All right, let's go Baxia. Spin, spin. And then let's dump Moe. All right. Baxia. Pop. Moe, activate, reveal.
All right, we we sword soul game it now, boys. Let's go one and two. Knock on wood, it's not the primal being. It's sh All right, if it's nib, it, it's going to happen right here. All right, no nib. All right, Baron. Burn for 12. Pop the Albaz. Battle phase. Let's go 58 direct, baby. All right, my brother. You got two cards in a dream. All right, next game. Gentlemen, I'm starting to think this this deck might be okay to take to a regional. I wish I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> All right. Uh, so game three, we can take in the dimensional barriers. Game two. Lunar might be good here. Lava Golem's kind of poopy. Nib is definitely poopy here. They don't call Sword Soul all reliable for nothing. What is this? My BA now or something? Or is BA my BA? I'm 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 confused on the lore. Definitely D barrier. D barrier is only good if we're going first, which we're going second most likely, unless he's gonna pull the old reverse mind fuck here and take make us go first. So I think Lava Golems are definitely good. Would Lava be solid? He's probably, if he ends on Dragoon, possibly, because you guys got to remember, we do have to deal with Dragoon, or that is a possibility. So we're putting Dragoon outs in. Uh, Evenly might be good here. There's another Dragoon out. Because we don't know if he's playing the Hex Sealed Fusion or not. Mirror Jade wipe as well. True. But that'll trigger Mirror Jade because it left the field. The only real clean out we have to a Mirror Jade is Vashuda. Oh, we gotta hurry up. Uh, uh, let's go Lunar. Lunar will clear up the board. Let's take out Droll for this matchup. Did he dip? Or did this just crash? Oh, I just ran out of time. Okay. So I just ran out of time and I have to play without siding. That's cool. <laughs> All right. All right, that's fine, boys. We got an imperm, a droll, and a dream. Ra's Disciple. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. Ra's Disciple, boys. I think we're about to get fucked up. Is this the Edo Lock? Kind of. Yeah, I think we're kind of screwed here. All right, let's make sure we don't get super screwed unless he has a convoluted way to go about it. We're going to droll him. Drago Stapelia. All 
All right, he passes. What is he grabbing with Albion? Branded Expulsion. We're going to get locked out of the game here. He's going to give us Ra's Disciple. Ra's Disciple is pretty much like the Edel Lock. But, like, you can't get rid of the monster as easily. It's like what other people would play instead of Edo. How can we do this? Yeah, I think we're kind of fucked here. Because he's going to give us the Ra's Disciple, and then how does this card work again? Yeah. And then we can't even change its battle position. Cannot be tributed except for the tribute summon of Slife or the Sky Dragon. You cannot special summon monsters except by the effect of Ra's Disciple. Fucking cringe. All right, well, that's that. All right, D Barrier's coming in. Or DD Crows. Yeah. D barriers coming in, boys. Honestly, I think that's the only thing I'm changing is the D barriers. We faced Branded Beastial earlier and we did all right, but they weren't playing the, the fucking cringe lock. All right, I'm going first. All right, Emergence. Not today, Satan. Is DD Crow good? No, DD Crow is pretty bad this format. If you're going to play DD Crow, you might as well just play Beastials. Uh, let's go, Mo Yi. All right. He doesn't have a second hand trap. There we go. Dita Crow is neat in certain matchups, just not that good specifically on cash tier format. True, it's pretty bad during cash format. It was alright going into tier format before Beast Deals got printed. Let's go Long John Silver. I, th I, I suppose there's not too many instances where this setup changes. Except I think we just hold Taya here. And we just prage no nib. No nib. All right, this was enough last time. It's not much, but it's honest work. We got the ash, which is basically an FTK against this deck. All right, Kaiju. Activate Branded Fusion. If 
fusion deployment. That's fine. Blazing Cartesia. Right, what does Cartesia do again? Special summon during the main phase. You can fusion summon. So that's a fusion. Do you ever respect Nib in game one? Uh, to an extent. All right. Let's get rid of Cartesia. It's always good to respect Nib. Especially if you open a hand that can do it. Oh, minus one. Crash with the Chi Shao. Wow, this is... This is like the freest game ever. My brother, what do you have? Does Cartesia have a quick effect? Oh. It's a quick effect. Oh, shit. Brings out Albas from the deck. No, it fusion summons here. Okay, what's he adding? You can send one level six light or dark monster from your deck to the grave. If that monster is special summoned. If a monster is special summoned by your opponent's activated monster effect, you can banish this card from your field or graveyard. Special summon one Dogmatica monster. Or one Despia monster from your extra deck. Oh, this card's going to be a problem. Alright, go right ahead. I think we just go to battle and run this over here. Because if I try and special a token here, he's just going to, like, banish it. So we have to just combo off in main two. Dust Dragon. You can banish this card. Special summon one Dogmatica monster from your deck or one de one Despia monster. From your extra deck. Okay. We gotta ash that. Like, we quite literally have to. Oh my god, that card does way too much. Yeah, it does like three things. This shit's doing, like, way too much. It's, like, lifting everything for him. And he surrendered. He had nothing left. All right. We we climb in here. All right, let's go paper. Rock. Oh, my goodness. Rock, you don't have the balls. All right. Well, this is one of the hands of all time. I honestly don't even know what we do with this hand. Um. You know what? You go. <laughs> you go.
Naturia Runic. Yo, what the f... <laughs> what the hell am I looking at, dog? Like, what kind of cracked out goo am I looking at? I have no idea. This is... Send one Naturia card from your deck to the graveyard. Go ahead, man. I think I saw this on PAX channel. Well, all right. How dead are we? <laughs> How dead are we? All right, let's... uh, Let's shut down his searching and shit. Edwin Runic card. Go for it, homie. Ends on Nat Beast. <laughs> he thinks I use spells. You know, hey, you can you can keep playing, dog. You're good. You 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 can keep playing. <laughs> So, uh, you guys know what's a wonderful material to build houses out of? Fucking bricks. Homie, it's the end phase. Jesus Christ. Are we going to activate like 97 cards here? So he can make a Baron here. Hey, there it is. Speak of the devil. Oh my goodness, man. Should we just scoop it up and go to the next game, guys? Should we uh should we just hit the next game? What do you guys think? What's your guys' opinion? I feel like this isn't very exciting to watch right now. What is happening? Well, see, clearly the sunflower is getting its friend the cricket, and the cricket 
and these two flowers are like hanging out. Yeah, let's 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 go to the next game. So we're going to be going first here. Droll did a lot of work, which is good. Let's take out this. We kind of want the nib. Let's take out Valor. We want D barrier in. I don't, did we see any hand traps really? Oh, we, we, no, we wouldn't have seen any because we didn't get to play. Um, let's take out this and one imperm. Wait, am I retarded? Did I, I put in an evenly matched instead. And let's go... Yeah, I think that's it. There we go. Let's go first. All right. Let's go Mo Yi. Mo Yi effect. And we don't really have to respect Nibiru here because we do have the cross out Desi. Let's add and draw. And we got the D barrier. Let's pitch this. So if we have to banish the Moe for the Chi Shao, we can add it back. Oh, Nibiru? There it is. How good is Chow Fang Lightlock in this matchup? Uh, probably not very, considering most of the monsters are lights, I think. Or not lights, uh, earths. So you'd be better off with, like, an earthlock. Which I think you can do if you're playing, like, the the Pendulum variant. I know I used to Earthlock them in um, Zephyr Sword Soul, which was funny. But it rarely ever came up. And I know uh, Cash, they're all different kind of attributes. But I don't think you can Light Lock without Denglong, can you? Because we don't have Denglong in the TCG. No Ding Dong. Do we call Synchro or Fusion here? Ooh. I think we call Fusion here. That gets them off all the runic stuff. But what do they do without their Synchros? Let's call all Synchro. Honestly, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do we call Synchro or Fusion here? I'm thinking Synchro, but I don't think Fusion is the worst idea. No idea. All right, we're here to learn. Let's call Synchro. Actually, we might have just fucked ourselves. I think we just fucked ourselves. We just negated our two monsters on the field. No, it is not one-sided. All 
right, we do have to kind of get the Moe out of the graveyard, though. I completely forgot it wasn't one-sided. I'm gonna be honest with you. All right, how does Huggins' protection work again? If this card on the field would be destroyed by battle, yada, yada, yada. If another card you control... Blackout's useless. Well, we got to use it. Hey! Now, what do Nicharias do without their synchros? The answer is probably nothing. Never punished, gentlemen. Never punished. Do we tag out Baron? What do these do? You get the activation, and if you do, destroy it. Ayo, hey, what Yu-Gi-Oh sim is this? This is called YGO Omega. All right, let's go to battle. I can read cards, my friend. We're going to run this over. Get your negate off the field. Mean two. Ooh. Okay. So he wants that Baron off the field pretty bad. I like EDO Pro more, honestly. I like YGO Omega because it's clean. All right. Negate the Baron, my friend. Oh, yo, wait, that's not once per turn. Yo, wait, that's not cool. Send one nature you card. You would tribute. Send the top two cards from your deck to the grave. Yeah, he's just getting so much resources and advantage back. Vashuda. At Hara. Special A Vashuda. Let's go second monk. Goodbye.
So fair and balanced. All right, that's gone. Boop. All right, we're locked into worms and tens here. Honestly, evil long one might be the way here. Are you fucking kidding me? Bro, are you for real? Are you for real, my guy? Why are we here? Just to suffer? Is is that why we're here to play this game? Just for suffering? All right, you know what? It's fine, gentlemen. It's okay. He can't clear the nib token, Copium. He cannot clear the nib token. It will be okay. It's too large of a chungus. Ah, fuck, Coral Dragon, the Duel Link staple. Yeah, he can clear it. <laughs> Alright, do we have any... Do we have any follow-up here? Do we have any means of follow-up? Possibly. But that back row has to be literally nothing. I think we know what it is, though. I think it's one of those Nature Blessing cards, right? I'm pretty sure that's what it is to revive the non once per turn negate, but doesn't that have to tribute a Nature card? Tribute one Nature monster and this card. We need, like, a... No, we can't even get a Tenyu because we use both our... Well... Okay. Yeah, it was what we thought it was. All right, gentlemen. Chalk that one up in the L column. But you know what? We can't get mad. We've won a lot of those. We've won a lot of our matches tonight. So it's fine. We hop into the next one, gentlemen. That's why you see those take a break screens in Nintendo games. It's true, man. Sometimes games like this can get like just infuriating. Sometimes it just like makes you so angry. You're just like, shit, man. I, I was so close. I had it. But you know what? I can't get super upset about it. Because like that's a matchup I hadn't seen before. So for it to even be like okay I don't, I'd probably I'd probably have to play that more to learn that matchup especially after like the brick fest of game one but I definitely have to play that game or that matchup more to learn it better and by the way if you guys are new who do be sure to like and subscribe it helps Yo, you got a branded opening in hand, my guy? The edge of playing something unpopular? True. It's... That's part of learning, like... Especially when you go to a regional. You definitely encounter a lot of, like, weird niche matchups. Like, when we played Dino earlier. 
one i did goof um the ash earlier or the in that early part of the game where i should have ashed the double evo but i accidentally clicked on what was it crossy road i clicked on on accident but like you do encounter like niche oh my god is this the same matchup again Okay, well, I was saying I need more practice against this, so. I guess I get my wish. It's Fur Hire Runic. Yo, what? Alright, buddy. I'm just gonna pretend you don't have the Runic Field spell in hand already. Runic Fur Hire. Runic for hire, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> this guy, yeah, this guy's cooking. <laughs> this guy's cooking something, all right. Get this guy out of his meth lab. Yo, is he about to special another huggin'? I keep forgetting the runics aren't once per turn. Why Fryer? That's nasty. For runic. Uh bro, you're gonna you're gonna find furries everywhere. Oh my god, dude, he's used his whole hand! Yeah, he's like, brother, it's a droll. What are what are we making? Bulgo, what the hell does this do? Special summon one for hire with a different type from the three monsters that are used for this Link Sun. If your opponent controls is destroyed by bad, you can draw one card. What? I'm confused. This card is special summon. You can excavate the top cards. Well, you couldn't do that. When your opponent activates a monster effect, you can discard one card. He can't do that. My brother, I am confused. We let you cook. <laughs> yeah, we, we got to clear off the, the runic field spell here. Okay. He, uh, he scooped it up. He's going to the next game. All right, I think we put in the put in the other nib. I don't know what else to put in here. Evenlies? That's why you got to go second with for hire. True. They're like a big OTK deck. Actually, no. I don't think the nib here would help. Lancia. Lancia to stop the banish? Because maybe he wants to mill and banish? Let's take triple tack out. I'm not sure what else to put in, so that's why we're going to go this way. Take that nib, you'll need it. Really? Oh, maybe I fucked up. Beat. Can add one monster, so it's just a search. You can go off king.
can excavate. If you add one of them to your hand, shuffle the rest back into the deck. Oh, it's so he can put up a negate and dodge the nib. That's what this card is for. Yeah, go ahead. Yo, wait, that adds runic destruction? Yo, wait, he's cooking now. All right, bud. You're gonna have to go. You're gonna have to go a little bit more neg to get that. Yeah, old buddy's cooking now. one spell trap for hire from your deck to your hand. Bro, I'm about to get rolled by some furries here in game two. Look at this. This guy's been playing it for so long, he has like the special um, the special YGO Omega rarities on him and shit. Yeah, I'm about to get rolled by the furries, dude. Oh crap, he got Rex? What? What is Rex good or something? Is that the one he just added? <sighs> Runic tip. And there's the fountain. The fountain's no good without anything to trigger it. <laughs> Pass. Alright, we've got all engine here. What do these do? Not much. They will destroy your stuff on your turn with wreck. Oh, so I'm guessing it can special itself out. Let's bait an ash here. No? All right. Let's not reveal we have long one. That's fine. Oh my god, dude. How many cards did this man just draw? Holy crap. This man just drew like 97 cards.
Jesus Christ, he drew so many freaking cards. It's like a billion of them. That's what he's cooking. He's cooking draw a million turbo. Ghost Ogre. Homie. No. Did we take Valor out of the deck? I don't remember if we took Valor out of the deck. I need to roll this stream back a little bit, see if we took Valor out of the deck. I think we did. Did we? Yeah, we did. We took it out for Lancia. That's a shame. What an annoyance. Alright, bud. Game three it is. I did. I went back and looked at the stream, I thought. I did not. Yo. I could stop that. That's an annoyance. All right. All right, he's on a billion hand traps. So, fusion... That could stop this whole runic play. Honestly, I think we just go with this. We're going first. Oh my god, that's the hand of all time, baby. That is the hand of all time. Ugh. We should have made the level 10. The level 10 sword soul guy. Add one spell trap. Have an extender. Let's shotgun it here at the Rex. Usually you never want to shotgun cards, but I'm not aware of this matchup. I'm assuming he needs some kind of spell trap to keep extending. Yeah. Yeah, let's get that out of here. Activate the second one. If a shooter for the red eyes exceeds. Why would you not do that first to try and bait the Baron? If a shoot is such a good card, though. But you don't have to apologize, my guy. 
Uh, yeah, we're going to keep you off that runic card. Alright, let's pray that's enough. See, bring him back. Yeah, we should have summoned out the level 10 Sword Soul guy. Or Evil Long One. That would have definitely been better in this matchup. Because now he can just keep playing. I want to know what this man has been cooking, though. For real. This man's been cooking some serious shit. Yeah, we're, we're donezo here. This man's going to draw, like, 97 cards. Can't wait for Red Eyes Meteor Dragon to get into the TCG and Master Duel. Yo, I haven't even read that card. What does it do? Let me, let me look it up real quick. Send one level 5 or higher normal monster from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand, then increase its level by 1 during the main phase. Except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard. You can banish this card from the graveyard. Add one Red Eyes Fusion from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Yo. That's not bad. That's that's pretty fire. But yeah, we're this this game's over. But all right, boys, I think that's where we're going to call it for the night. Uh, I don't think this deck's that bad. I think we just come up against a couple rogue matchups. But until next time, guys, take it easy. Peace. Oh, God. Now I got to find the, the screen. But yeah, take it easy, boys. Peace. And you guys have a good one, too.